Hello everyone. Here is your full body workout using no equipment but a bench. So I've got my bench or my stepper here. If you've got a stepper or a bench, great. If you don't, you can use a chair or a footstool. Anything that's going to be stable, safe, and not going to fall apart like my chairs, which is why I'm not using the chairs. Um, and make sure you put it somewhere so when we are doing movements, it's not going to slide around um, and it's going to stay nice and secure because we are going to be stepping up onto the stepper um, and using, you know, putting our body weight on it. So um, that's it um, in terms of equipment. Um, and format. <laughs> I was like, what comes next? Format. So we're going to do two set, two um, blocks, a lower body block and then an upper body block. Each block, we're going to do two sections. The first part, we're doing strength, um, slow and steady tempo, and then we're going to do a Tabata, which is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times through. Um, so we're going to get the heart rate up and do a bit of cardio. Then we'll do a same thing, but for the upper body. In the first section, we're going to be doing it for the circuit four times through um, because we've got some unilateral work. And in the second section, we're only going to do it three times through because we don't have any unilateral work. So let's get warmed up and then we'll start. Okay, so just starting standing nice and tall. We're gonna do some hinges, just good morning hinges, sending the hips back, keep the back nice and straight, tilt that pelvis, waking up all the backs of the legs, slow and steady. So this is, <laughs> we'll see how tired we are at the end of it. No, using a stepper and body weight is a really good way to amp up your workouts, especially when you're away from the gym or you're doing it like, you know, you don't have that much stuff available to you. It's a really good way to amp it up. And if you do have weights knocking about, I mean, feel free to grab them. Um, you can do that as well. So but I'm going to go no equipment. Let's do one more hinge. And I'm going to bring the feet a bit wider and just do some squats. Squatting down and up. Especially with the unilateral work with the stepper, it's really good working on that balance. And as we know, unilateral work is a really good way to tire out the body nice and efficiently. So it just shows what you could do with your body weight. Couple more. Last one. And then we're just gonna open up the back and the arms. So we're gonna come in sort of hinge. I'm going to fly the arms open and close. So I'm hinged with my body, just open, opening up the chest and the back. A few more flies, and then we're going to do some circles. And then circling round with the arms, keeping the spine nice and steady. Try not to flare through the ribs, and then reverse your circle. Out and round, out and round, and come up to standing. We're just gonna to come to the bottom of the mat and walk out into a plank. So we're gonna roll down, walk up to that plank, set the right foot up to the outside of the right hand. You can drop the back knee if you like. We're gonna rotate open towards that right knee and closed and bring that right hand under the left. So you open, and close, try to keep the hips nice and level, try to keep that left leg nice and straight. Close, do one more in that direction. Closed, plant the palms, step back. Just gonna walk the hands back to the feet and roll up through the spine. Let's do that same thing on the other side. So doing about four or five opens, walking out and stepping. So if you've got your stepper, make sure you've got lots of, you've got some space to move around it or your chair. I won't be doing any fancy editing, so I'm just going to move my stepper um, in, in the break. You'll see it happen in real time. Um, but I've hopefully planned it so I don't have to move it around too much. Plant the palm. Set back to that plank. Let's come onto all fours. We're just waking up the glutes a little bit. So all fours, you can come to the forearms at any time if your wrists hurt. That applies for any of the exercises. I'm just going to hinge up, poke the ceiling and down. So just right, lift, right knee only. <sighs> Try to stay even through the core. So keep the core engaged. So the waking up the core 
here as well, nice little bonus. Two more. Last one. So we do have some high impact movement in the first Tabata, but I'll give some modifications. Um, and also I'll give modifications if you can't jump up onto your uh, chair. Or if this is a bit scary. <laughs> Sometimes it's scary to jump on things. I get it. One more. I'm just going to stretch back into the child's pose. Tuck those toes. Down dog. And then walk up to standing. Rolling up through the spine. I'm just going to do some knee drives to wake up that lower body. Wake up those hips. Keep the arms going round. Nice and wide with the arms. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven. I'm pulling, pulling, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're just going to twist the body, waking up the waist a little bit more. For five, four, three, Two and rest. Okay, right, let's get into it. So for our first set, we've got a Bulgarian split lunge, a single leg hip thrust, a leg lower and a Copenhagen plank. So we'll have 20 seconds in between for me to demo, but because we're doing four times three, you'll have time to remember them and everything. So don't worry. So for set, I'm gonna use my left leg working to start with for the first two rounds and then my right leg. So I'm going to set up for that Bulgarian. So I like to set up from the floor because I find it a lot easier than trying to shuffle about on the, on the bench. And I've also got a towel to protect my little foot. So grab whatever equipment you need before we start. If you need a cushion or something, please grab it. Um, so, so you're in this sort of like 1990 situation. You're going to lean forwards and we're going to push off through that front leg just so we're leaning forward slightly, no, no weight on the back. So here we go, we're doing three pulses, going down, one, two, three weights in that front leg and come up to standing. Whoa, find your balance. So go down at a slight angle, two, three, and up. And at the top, we're not locking that leg out, we're staying time under tension. I'm super light on my back foot. You could be on your toes or the top of your leg. 10 more seconds. One, two, three, and stand. Let's fit one more in. Three, two, and up. Very nice. I'm just gonna come onto my bum, onto the mat. So I've got that single leg hip bridge next. So my left leg is down, my shoulders are on, and my right leg's gonna be floating. Now, if this is too hard with the right leg, keep it both, keep them both down, no problem. So we're gonna hip thrust up, squeeze that glute, come down. So go up and down. Slow and steady, strength. We want controlled movements with this. I'm not moving my chest back and forth. Not moving, rocking my head back, keeping that up. My shoulder blades are on my stepper or your bench. 10 more seconds. And I'm holding at the top for a second and squeezing that glute. Last one, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And down, okay, we're stepping up. So, I'm coming to the side of my stepper. Left leg still on, coming up to the top. Right leg's off. So we're just gonna bend that leg into a little leg lower and come back up. So I'm not touching the floor here. Okay. And here we go. So let's go down, bending the knee. So it's like a little cheeky pistol squat and push up through that leg. Dropping it down towards the floor and back up. See my knee wobbly, I'm trying my best to keep my knee in alignment. Sending my hips back as I come up and down. Spicy, spicy, spicy. You might only be going down a little bit and that's completely fine. 
practicing keeping the chest up and whoo good by coming down so I'm gonna have the right leg on this time just because I can't fit over there I'll move the boat to the next set and the left leg is gonna be moving so right legs on I'm gonna bend the knee and put my knee on and my bottom knee is in line my top knee so I'm in this sort of side plank pull up into a side plank bottom leg can straighten and just tap the floor and lift it up so I don't have much room under my stepper but I'm just seeing if I can imagine squeezing the inner thighs together bringing it down squeeze the inner thighs bring it down so I'm pushing my top leg in by all means you can have both legs straight and your ankles can be on but really think of squeeze the inner thighs squeeze 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 relax squeeze 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 so getting the inner thighs big style and obviously the core two one down we're going from the top so we're gonna do the left leg again so we're not gonna alternate legs another juicy way to work out the body without any weight is to double up okay so i'm gonna come back to the floor i'm gonna set up for my lunge my squat and let's go up so it's almost like we're doing well it is like a, it's a single leg squat so what do you think how much weight can you keep on that front leg as you come down and up how light is your back leg keeping that balance pulse pulse don't forget your pulses 10 seconds pulsing then we got those single leg thrusts pulse whoop and up and a rest so coming down to the mat and we've got our back on so for some reason my stuff have these bobbles on so it really hurts when i don't wear any trainers i don't wear trainers indoors okay let's get the shoulders on going in five seconds three two one let's do it squeeze that glute at the top I'm really tucking my bum under at the top of this movement. Next up, we've got those leg lowers. I find them really hard, so don't be discouraged. I can't get very low. Some people can do full pistol. I am not one of those people. Got 10 seconds. Woo! Five. You can really feel when you use one leg at a time, I tell you and down okay it's gonna move this out of the way so it slip so when i'm coming down I'm, it's almost as if i'm extending my leg slightly forward but don't think i want to swing my leg think i want to send my hips back so sit back into the movement three two whoop, one let's do it down control hand up Gonna be fun on my right leg my left leg is way more stable and 15 seconds so take this slow i mean there's only really one way to take it isn't there down let's hit one more in go on go on okay other side so i'm gonna Move this this way. Oh no, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Okay. So, if you're, if you're, you can have your feet on as well. I'm going to put my inner thighs because I like to really want to concentrate on that squeeze. So let's go up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm squeezing my inner thighs together. I'm going to relax it down. And again, up. Squeeze. Keep that plank. Strong and down again and down. So we need like a little two, three second squeeze and down again. 
Keep the core nice and tight. Keep the ribs up. Squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. And let's come down. All right. Now for some quick changing moves. I'm just gonna move this across slightly so I can do my lunges on my left. Move the time up so I can see. On my right leg's down this time. We're going in three seconds. Setting up. And off we go. Up. Little pulse. One, two, three, and up. And back down. One, whoop, violent. Two, three, and up. Back down. One, two, three, up. Down. <laughs> you don't need to me say up, down. Just focus. I'm just saying it for myself, to be honest. Five more seconds. Two, one, and up. Okay, right leg staying planted. We know the moves now. So get into your positions, get ready. Use a break. Sit. Get the heart rate down. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Off we go. And down. I'm taking a little moment at the top. Just squeeze that glute. So I'm sending my knees, my hips like forwards, rather than like thrusting them up. If you, if you find you're like tilting your head back loads, it's probably because you're going like this, right? So think of pushing knee forward, bam, and back. Last one, up, and down. All right, let's get these leg loads. Right leg on. This is fun. My right leg is wobbly, much more wobbly than my left. So, but that's another good reason I'm working. You know, actually set up, going in three, two, whoop. <laughs> go, go, go. I'm just finding my balance, ignore me. Ignore me, you know the move. Sitting back, don't tuck the bum under, tilt it backward, get that pelvic tilt on the go, push it out, push it back, push it back. Control the movement. I'm focusing over here somewhere. Find your focus, focus? Turned into Sean Connery there. For you James Bond fans. Woof! I really like those balanced ones. You really have to concentrate. So let's come underneath and set up. So our knee, knees are on top of our knees. Our knees are in line with our body. Our elbows underneath our shoulder. And we're up. Good. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And lower. And then squeeze. Make it active. Really squeeze the inner thighs. And then relax them. But you're keeping the upper body strong the whole time. We're not dropping the upper body as we go. Squeeze, 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 and down. Squeeze, squeeze, <laughs> down. Five seconds. Let's hold and squeeze for the last three, two, one, down. Lovely, last round. And then we've got a minute rest, and then we've got Tabata, okay. Catching that breath, let's set ourselves up. Setting up, maybe we're getting a bit quicker at setting up. We're gonna push through that front leg. We're ready, and down, pulse. Pulse, don't worry if your knee's not touching the floor like mine. We have different bodies, we've got different mobility. You're working on staying stable and keeping that weight in that front leg. Down, 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 and up. Keep it going, down, down, down. 10 seconds left, Woo. 
down. Three, two, one. Very nice. Hip thrusts. If you find it too much with both legs down, you find your sort of upper body's moving a lot, practice with both feet down first. Okay, you've got five seconds. Two, one, let's do it. Down and squeeze and hold. Concentrate, keep focus, keep thinking, I want to open up my right hip, bam, open it up, 10 seconds, five, three, two, rest, okay, coming up, we've got these leg lowers. I mean, coming up next and coming up onto the bench. Double whammers. So we've got 10 seconds. Last time for this move on this side. Last time for that Copenhagen plank. Let's step up. Let's get ready. Two. Woo, one. And go, go, go. If you have a dinger and I'm still faffing, please go. Because <laughs> I am a top faffer. And really try to go all the way to the end. I know when I start doing a countdown, it's really tempting to just stop, but we can probably fit one more rep in, in three seconds. So you're doing yourself out of a whole juicy rep. Five more seconds. Whoop. Control it. And, oh, coming down. Copenhagening, last time. Setting up, get my feet ready, my knees along my knees, my shoulder under my wrist. Three, two, one, let's do it. Squeeze, and lower the leg. Squeeze, keeping the hips facing forwards, don't twist, and down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And now, again. Engage those inner thighs. You're like, this was meant to be a lower body. It is. Bonus, bonus upper body. 10 seconds. Keep going. Squeeze. And down. Three. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And rest. Ooh, okay. Have a sip of water. We're going into our Tabata situation. So we've got some bot. I'm going to move my stepper in the middle. We're going to do some up and overs, which are going one side, up, down, up, down. Now, if you can't go over, up and over your stepper, I want you to come up, up, down, down, right? If you can't step on your stepper, do some lateral bounds side to side. Okay, then I'm gonna be in the middle, squat jump. So I'm just sitting down on my box, jumping up to center. If that's unavailable, box jumps, I'm gonna jump up and down, or squat jumps. Make sure your step is not half on and half on your box. So again, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's do it. So we go here, up and in. If you're doing low impact, you can just step up sideways and alternate legs. Woo. Got to focus for this one. Two, one. Okay. Ten seconds rest. Catching my breath, and I'm going to sit, jump. Centre, squat jump, rest, Woo. I'm going to start on this side, so 
we've got three more rounds. Three, two, up and over. Five, three, two, one. Whew. My goodness. Round two. Forgot how feisty these Tabatas were. Let's do it. Jump in, jump down, jump in. guys killer three two one up and over ten seconds three two one catching my breath and stops at two, so sorry. Five more seconds. Three, two, let's do it. Ah. Five more seconds. facing this way. So, we've got push-ups, we've got push-ups, we've got a cross-body crunch with the hands on the floor, cross-body mountain climber, we've got some tricep dips with knee drives, then we're doing a bridge with our heels on the stepper, I'm going to do knee drives there. So, about 20 seconds, I'm gonna, hold, I'm gonna hold my breath. Catch my breath. Now, if any of these moves is too much, you can sort of put the hands on the floor, you can bring the hands back up here. You can bring the knees down in your push-ups. We're gonna do three, two, one, tempo push-up. Wrists wider than the shoulders. And off we go. So going one, two, Three, push. So slow. One, two, three, push. It's a good place to work if you've been trying to work your push up on your knee. Toes on. Oh my goodness, sorry. How unprofessional. Um, my, my dinger was on. So come to plank. Feet on, not yet, can rest. Three, two, one, so feet on. We're gonna go across the body, centre, cross, slow and steady. Cross. Cross. 
Now, this is where to make sure your stepper is gonna fall over. 10 seconds. Make sure your hands are in a good position. Sorry, my hands are not. Force. Three, two, and rest. Tricep dips are next. So we're gonna dip, drive the knee, drive the knee, okay? So, you're gonna start sitting on your box or your chair, bring your hands by your bum, not really wide. Bring the feet out, hover the bum, send the elbows back, and we're gonna knee, knee. If you want more, you bring the feet further out. Dip, knee. My heart rate is going from that Tabata. Dip, knee, knee. Well, we've got three times through this round. Dip, knee, knee, dip. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, coming to your mat. Coming on your back. Bum's fairly close. Heels are on. And we're gonna have the hips up. So let's set that up. Hips drive up to the ceiling. Hips are staying up. I'm gonna knee and down. Knee, down. You can do your leg up and down if you like. Kick it to the ceiling, bring it down. But you're trying not to let the hips move and try not to lose your stability. It's like a little leg extension march. And come down nice and safely. Those are our four moves. We're doing them twice more, okay. Something like that push up. If three, two, one's too much off the knees, you can come to the knees, or you can just do one. Okay, like a one second one. Two, one, let's do it. Plank body, one, two, three, push up. So I'm going slow. Keep the lower back lifted. The body shouldn't change. It's just the elbows bending to bring you down. Good, 10 seconds. Hand push. Three, two, one, and push. Good. I find this is the hardest one for me. I don't know about you. I'm gonna to come to the floor and get myself ready. It's, if this is too much, you can do it on your forearms if your wrists are too tired. Okay, we're going in five seconds. Two, and go across, center. Go my fist. And if you want, you can just hold the plank, then do a few more crosses. Keep the lower back lifted. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest, dips. That one I find, obviously, Heels elevated make things a lot harder. So if you're like, this is just super hard, you can bring the hands to the bench. If you feel your lower back dipping, hands to the bench. Don't compromise the back. Let's go. Down, knee, knee, keep the chest open, dip.
my hands are starting to shake. 15 seconds, my arms. 10 seconds. Just keep going. Three, two, and rest. How can I've got this towel here? Okay. I don't usually have a towel handy. Okay, 10 seconds. Then we've got one more round. Okay, sit up. We're going in three, two, come up into your bridge, and let's march. So, with the knee in, bring it back and down if you like. Straighten it up, lower it back. So, you go knee, straighten, knee down, knee. So, my heels are on the stepper, keeping my tailbone tucked under, keeping stability, not coming up to the neck like the neck is hurting, just to the shoulder blades, knee, and down, last round, last round, okay, three, two, one, push-ups, let's do these. Got 10 seconds. Let's set up and off we go. One, two, three, and push. So I don't want your elbows in line with your shoulders. You're making a little arrow with your arms. They're coming back at a diagonal. Your chest is coming in between your hands. You're levering, levering forward, and you're keeping your core tight the whole time. 10 more seconds. Almost there. Two, one, push, and rest. Okay, rear elevated cross body mountain climber time. It's a mouthful. With the timer so I can see it. Apologies for that phone call. I thought my phone was on silent, but no one calls me. <laughs> for three, two, one, let's go. Cross. I'm gonna stop talking. I need to concentrate on this one. My wrists and the wrong place. Make sure they're under your shoulders. Oh my goodness. Wow, I just apologize about the noise and no one messaging me. And look what's going on. Okay, I'm so sorry. Keep going. Two, one. That's really bad, isn't it? Sorry, I thought I clicked the button. I'll tell you who it was. I'll tell the person who it was, and then they can be held accountable <laughs> if they ever do the workout. Okay, three, two, tricep dips. Let's do it. Down. Turn the dinger off completely. The reason is, right, when I was trying to set up the timer, it wasn't doing the noises unless I put it off silent, which it doesn't usually do that. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go, Gonna risk it for a biscuit. And then there we go, a phone call and like four WhatsApps. All the messaging services are available. Five more seconds. Three, two, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna risk putting the noise on again. Let's see. Because when that Tabata comes, you're gonna need to hear it ding, aren't we? And I hate having to keep looking at it. So, bum nice and close. Forgive me, basically, if it dings. I'm really sorry. Two, one, up. And knee. And knee. And or knee. Straighten. Knee. Down. Knee. Straight. Knee. Keep the other hip exactly where it is. Imagine you've got a phantom leg 
on that bench as you pick up the other one. It's just still there, keeping you nice and supported. If that helps, it's a phantom leg. But like a ghost, I don't know. I don't know if you play Mario Kart, but like the ghost of you on the track, that's what I'm imagining. <sighs> All my retro gamers out there, <laughs> rest, come down, rest, okay. Okay, Tabata time. So, I'm gonna move my stepper over here. You wanna lie down there, there. So, first move, I'll show you from the front. I'm on up my forearms and my legs are going like this and I'm bringing them in and I'm twisting them like that. So imagine in between my legs are, is the stepper. So one foot's above, one foot's below. Then we're gonna do bear, because why, why not? We're gonna do a bear here. I'm gonna go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down in our bears. Trying to stay nice and compact in that bear. So, about 10 seconds. So on my elbows, you're gonna twist one side, bring the knees in, rotate to the other. So I'm like pivoting back and forth. Here we go, pivot, in, pivot, crunch, roll, crunch, roll. I'm rolling away from my mat. So I've got my feet under to make sure I'm crunching my knees in properly. So you crunch and roll, crunch and roll. Okay, now it's working properly. Now it's not making any noises, any additional noises. Okay, bears, two. One, and we go up, up, down. Try to alternate the starting hand. I do that by thinking the last hand that touches is the first one. Back up, up, down, up, down. Three, two, one, woo. Back to the start. So I'm starting my legs under and on, under and on top to make sure I crunch in, roll, three. Crunch and roll, crunch and roll, crunch and roll. I'm sliding backwards as well. Three, two, woo. There, round two. Almost there, we're almost there. If going up and down with the bear is too much, just hold the bear. Two, let's go. Up, up. <sighs> Try to make it fast if you can, because we are coming to the end of the workout. Burn out that body. One, Woo. and down we go. So I'm gonna get better, do my crunch a bit better this time because you're trying to like crunch in. Off we go, crunch, three. Knees together, apart. Knees together, roll, apart. So I'm rolling from either side of my hips and my pelvis, rolling on the bone, rolling through the middle. Woo, that's a really nice move. Not gonna lie, I like that one a lot. Maybe it's because it's like Pilates. And go! Up, up. Town. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. Roll and switch. 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 Knees in, roll around. Knees in, roll around. Five, four, three, two. Last move. Last move. Last move. Going in. Three, two, last 20 seconds. Down, go. Move away. 
way, reaching forwards a bit more, reach, reach, seven seconds, woo, three, two, one, oh, rest, I'm going to move my stepper away, or I'll come onto your back, or you can have a sip of water first, which is what I'm going to do. Come onto your back now. Have a breather. Just hug the knees into the chest. Gosh. <laughs> it's amazing how much work you can do with just your body weight. Okay, hug the knees for a second. Let's send the left leg to the floor. Keep hugging the right leg in. You can hold behind the, ham the thigh to get that nice hamstring stretch. Drawing that leg in towards you. You can slide the left leg further away if you want a bit more, or towards you if you're particularly tight today. <sighs> then we're going to take that foot over. I want you to think shin over thigh, not ankle. So make sure there's space for your foot to move. Sorry, something's, <laughs> something's spiking me on my mat. And then we're going to hold behind the left thigh, come back down, send the right thigh away, have a breath here. If you find it hard and you're really tight in the hips and you're up here, you can grab a towel, I'll show you. Grab a towel between and like use it to pull in. So you can pull the towel in towards your chest, like a little extension of your arms. So you get a bit more, or you can go to a wall and push into the wall instead. Just giving options, switching sides, hamstring stretch on the left leg, breathe. And then quad stretch. Breathing here again, try to send the left knee away whilst you're drawing the right thigh into you. Bring the feet to the mat, feet fairly wide and just gonna drop your hips to one side, just stretching through the back and breathe. And then up and over to the other side. Coming round, we're just going to come onto all fours. Stretch the arms forward, stretching through the shoulders, hips nice and high. Let's walk the hands all the way to the left so you can stretch down the right hand side. Keep sinking into the chest and then the opposite side coming over to the left, to the right, sorry. Coming up, we're just going to come up to standing and stretch out the quads. So you can hold on to something here, just going to grab that foot to your bum. Think of pushing the hips forward, keeping the chest open. Woo. Positively red, I think, today. And let's switch sides. So this is a good workout you can come back to, especially with the... I guess with the upper body, it's a little bit different because just making that push up a three, two, one push up makes it like a million times harder. But with the lower body stuff, once you find like lots of stability with those, you can be like, right, let me add some weight. So you're gonna release that. Interlace the hands behind your back. Open up the chest. You can add weight to this exercise if you like, if you really liked it. If you really liked it. That's what I'm talking about. If you really, really liked it, you can really, really do this again. Bring the hands around to the front, bring the feet close together. Stretch out that shoulder to the other side. And that there was your full body workout, no equipment, just a bench. You absolutely smashed it.